Hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. The noise in the background is Van Saw. What we're going to do today is ram up and, mop and cast these caps for the headstock bearings. Simple bedding again. I'm also casting this handle because I well, can never have enough spare handles, plus I'm going to need one for the tail stock eventually. Yeah. This makes me nervous that <sighs> right, chop this outside and fire up the burner. See if I was wasting my time or not. Initial signs point to promising. Now, uh, with the blow torching, I'm getting a very nice finish on these. Right, now that I've got good castings, I'll put these into the box. The box of all the other patterns. Right, let's see if we can get that steel rod out. That was very, very easy. Mostly good there. Except there's some pitting there and there. Alright, I'll just cut these off on the bandsaw. Be right back. I am super happy with how these came out. They sanded up nicely. The bottom is just about completely sanded, which is what I want. I'm just going to give it some time to cool down, then I'll finish sanding these low spots here. Same story with this one, sand it up nicely, this is far away from where it will be mounted so I'm not worried about that. Sides came up nicely, couple of bolts there, couple of bolts there, and then we'll be boring through the holes there on the lathe.
This detail sander is brilliant, but it's a bit of a bugger to clean. Didn't they do a nice job of this though? Oh, let's see how flat this truly is. Pretty decent. This is where I keep all my um, bolts, by the way. The book doesn't actually give measurements, it just says drill them and place them. This, these are the bearings I'm going to put through it. But the plan is to drill the holes through here first to M8 tap size then once I have put them on here to about where I'm happy drill through there using the caps as a guide to make a dimple here you know, with the um, handheld drill then once I've got the dimple there, take it over to the press to drill it properly. I've got the flat under there resting there so the hole will be 90 degrees relative to the flat bottom. From memory, from memory the tap size is 7mm. Well, 6.8, but 7 is the closest I have. I might be dreaming, but I think from what I'm feeling, this Zamac likes a fairly fast feed rate as well as speed. Right, I'm not going to drill through these, I'm just trying to mark where I want the holes. You guys are very lucky by the way, because my life would be a lot easier if I didn't bother at all with this filming jazz. Even with my lazy, lazy video editing, moving the tripod around, adjusting the zoom where it's focused, all that still takes a bit of time. Let's try the I could probably just start off with this final tap, but it'll put a lot more strain on it than I really want. I wonder what I should do with my old set of, of cheap taps. Probably hang on to them until I get a better set of dies to replace the crappy dies, I suppose. Hey Ammo, want a cheap set of taps? They're not very good, but I suppose they're better than nothing, if you're desperate. Right, now to drill these out. because I still have to drill them the through holes.
<sighs> Tapping again. The act of tapping actually deforms the metal slightly, so I wanted to make sure that those surfaces were still flat. Alright, I have a crazy, possibly stupid plan. Any wobbling is because the bench is crap and not flat. This is a set of sh reduced shank drill bits. Normal drills top out at 13 mil millimeters. This one starts at 13. <laughs> so I'm going to step up through them till I get to 20 mil, which is the diameter I want to start that bore at. I'm probably going to have to seriously lower the table for this one. mission that we got there. 20 mil through hole. I suspect that my drill press really doesn't have the beams to deal with to drill to do drill bits this this big. Which is I suspect why I was having so much trouble. For those who didn't know the more the bigger the diameter of the drill the more power you need to force that drill through metal and I suspect that that big 20mm reduced shank drill is more than my drill press is really happy with dealing with but I had to drill that 20mm through hole so the boring bar can pass through it when I bore it out to the proper diameter Right, focus. You can see that divot there. That was the pit in the casting right there. That was the um, hollow in the casting. Once I've bored this out so that the bearing fits, it will should disappear completely. So what I'm going to do is mount this up on the lathe and bore these out so that this um, bearing will fit in there and it will also fit in there nicely and not crappily. So at the moment that's where it is at the moment. So that both the headstock and the bearing caps will be clamped together probably with some shims between them to give me a bit of leeway. And then I will bore it out with the when, once the motor's going, so that these bearings fit. That's the plan, anyway. And I think I've pushed this about as far as I can today. About as far as I want to, definitely. So bearing caps from liquid metal to the pre-boring finished product. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.